Hi, this is Father Paul Yi. I hope and pray that everyone's safe at home. With the order from Governor John Bell Edwards to stay at home, you may be wondering what I can do to help another person. The crisis in our state and country is not a natural disaster that we can just respond by sending our popular Cajun Navy or physically volunteering somewhere. It's a crisis that we have never experienced and we are told that the best thing we can do to help another person is to stay at home. Perhaps you're trying to determine how you can help during this crisis or how you are going to fill the hours during the day at home. You may have seen the news coming from all over the world, including New York, Washington, New Orleans, and Baton Rouge, that many are dying in the hospitals or in their homes, alone without the consoling presence of their family members. And it's truly heart-wrenching to see the faces of healthcare workers who witness the tragic suffering of this coronavirus and who are deeply saddened that there is no one to hold a grandmother's hand as she dies or have to tell parents that their child died. There are many folks suffering and they need our help. There is something we can do. Jesus appeared to a Polish nun named Maria Faustina Kowalska to reveal to us the message of his divine mercy. He told St. Faustina, pray as much as you can for the dying. By your insistent prayers, obtain for them trust in my mercy, because they have most need of trust and have it the least. Jesus told the St. Faustina, my daughter, encourage souls to say the chaplet which I have given to you. It pleases me to grant everything they ask of me by saying the chaplet. Write that when they say this chaplet in the presence of the dying, I will stand between my father and a dying person, not as a just judge, but as the merciful Savior. Earlier, our Lord said to her, At the hour of their death, I defend as my own glory every soul that will say this chaplet or when others say it for a dying person. The indulgence is the same. As St. Faustina revealed to us, praying the chaplet for the dying petitions Jesus to enfold a person in his merciful love in their final hours. The Lord will grant the person a profound experience of his consoling presence before they depart this earth. If you're looking for things to do during these days when you are required to stay at home, perhaps you can pray for a person who is dying from the virus. Invite your family to participate and teach your children how to pray the chaplet. Praying the chaplet for a person who is suffering with coronavirus and near death will only take 10 minutes. If we all commit to praying the chaplet and ask the Lord to spiritually place us at the bedside of one of the men or women who is dying from the virus, then no one dies alone. As our Lord told St. Faustina, our gift of prayer can help someone who is perhaps not prepared spiritually for their earthly life to end. We believe what St. Faustina wrote in her diary. God's mercy can touch the sinner even at the last moment in a wondrous and mysterious way. Outwardly, it seems as if everything is lost, but it is not so. The soul illumined by a ray of God's powerful final grace can turn to God even in the last moment. Thank you for your gift of prayer, especially for the chaplet of divine mercy, which will console the dying and console the very heart of Jesus.